Germany is renting old Soviet tanks from museums to train Ukrainian troops in order to bring the exercises closer to real conditions, Lieutenant General Andreas Marlow, head of the EU Special Training Command for Ukraine, told Reuters. The agency noted that instructors from 17 countries have already trained about 18,000 Ukrainian soldiers in Germany to operate modern tanks and high-precision air defense systems and have also passed on their skills to snipers, engineers, paramedics and drone operators. However, the war in Ukraine is mostly using older equipment, which is more readily available, as well as time-tested strategies. So the German military dug trench systems according to Russian standards and rented old Soviet tanks from museums. These museum systems are used by the Russian side and sometimes they plant booby traps in abandoned equipment. Using this technology during exercises makes it easier to demonstrate where you need to be careful not to trigger an explosion if you find them on the battlefield and open the door. Marlow shared, the mission to train Ukrainian troops was established in 2022. Last Friday, it was extended for another two years. Part of the training in Germany now includes studying Russian trench systems, which the Lieutenant General said were typically built in a fixed pattern. We're talking about the shape of the trenches, where to expect cover and firing positions, he explained. In addition to Soviet equipment, modern simulators and high-tech mannequins are used for training on which doctors can practice complex situations. Ukrainian military personnel are also trained to operate drones, which are increasingly used in the war in Ukraine. Media previously reported that the European Union ambassadors extended the training of Ukrainian military personnel for two years. Over the previous two years, 70,000 Ukrainian Armed Forces soldiers were trained within the framework of this training mission. In addition, the UK Ministry of Defence said that training Ukrainian soldiers was damaging the British Army's combat capability. At training grounds in the country, applications from British Army units to conduct training sessions in 2023 were rejected eight times, more often than in 2019. Typhoon Taraji unleashed floods, knocked down trees and caused power outages in the northern Philippines before weakening into a tropical storm and blowing out to the South China Sea, officials said Tuesday as they braced for another approaching storm. The Philippines has scrambled to deal with multiple calamities wreaked by four back-to-back -back typhoons and storms, including Taraji, that devastated the northern region of Luzon, including vast farmlands and communities, in less than a month. A brewing storm in the Pacific may strengthen into a typhoon and hit the country on Thursday, forecasters said. There were no immediate reports of deaths from Taraji. Authorities were still clearing roads blocked by fallen trees, electricity poles and small landslides set off by Taraji to allow the passage of food packs and other government aid and to rescue those who might be stranded in far-flung villages, officials said. Disaster response contingents, including army troops, police and the Coast Guard, have been struggling to respond to the aftermaths of the successive typhoons and storms, but President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. assured People Friday that help was on the way to communities battered by Taraji, locally called Nika. Schools were shut and inter island ferry services and domestic flights were suspended in provinces in or near the path of Taraji, the 14th weather disturbance to lash the Philippine archipelago this year. The Philippines is battered by about 20 typhoons and storms each year. It's often hit by earthquakes and has more than a dozen active volcanoes, making it one of the world's most disaster-prone countries.
Grabe oh. Okay, grabe na oh. Grabe yung giniwang bakas ni Typhoon ni Nika.